Well, Cindy the elephant um, was an elephant that all the school kids actually bought together. They raised money to buy an elephant for the zoo because we wanted an elephant. So all the kids saved their lunch money and their ice cream money and they went door to door and collected money for Cindy the elephant. So we bought this elephant and um, we thought it was a baby elephant but um, they took us all bus in buses out to the zoo. Well, um, I think I was about eight years old. I think I was, yeah, about eight. And so they took us to the zoo and it was cold so I had my little coat on and my gloves. And, um, you know, this was during the 60s. This was during the 60s. So they, they walked us down to her pen and it had a fence around it. And um, they brought the elephant out, but it wasn't a baby elephant. It was a full grown elephant. And her name was Cindy. So <clears throat> the teacher held out a big bag of peanuts for all of us. So we each got a handful of peanuts to feed the elephant, to feed Cindy. So, um, the elephant meanders over to the fence and we're all standing there and it's just cool to be out of school and you're at the zoo and it's cold and rainy because it's always cold and rainy here in Washington. And, um, so the, the elephant sticks its big huge trunk over the fence and the kids are stuffing peanuts in its big snotty nose, you know? And I, I back up. I don't like that nose. You can see the snot just dripping out of the thing. It was disgusting. And so um, the thing starts getting closer and closer to me like this big live snake thing. And I'm just backing up because I don't like it. Yeah. And, and it starts, it comes closer to me and it starts patting me on the head with this trunk thing. And it's got a hand on it. It was horrible and it was, had snot all over it and it was like, give it a peanut, give him a, Cindy wants a peanut. And I was like, no, that's disgusting. I'm not sticking anything in that drunk. And so the, the elephant gets mad and starts hitting me with this trunk and every time it hits me, it gets snot all over me. Well, they've got a hand <laughs> on the end of their trunks. It's horrible. It's just horrible. It's like they got fingers on that thing. And it found my peanuts. And I'm just a little girl. And the thing is just trying to get into my peanuts. And I'm like, no, you're not getting these peanuts. Uh-uh. And it's just disgusting. Anyway, so it starts hitting me with this trunk. And so I just push it away because I've got elephant snot all over me by this time. I was so upset. I had elephant snot, so I, I was pushing it away, and the thing hit me really hard in the face, <laughs> and when it hit me, the snot went everywhere, and so I grabbed it, and I dropped my peanuts, and I started slugging the thing in the trunk, because so, it wouldn't leave me alone. It's like, okay, you want to fight? I'll give you a fight, you damn elephant. <laughs> started slugging it. Well, then the kids... And the trainer started screaming that I was beating up the elephant, and the elephant was hitting me back. I mean, it wasn't just me. The elephant was hitting me back, so it snot all over my face, and I was trying to hold my own with this elephant. And the teachers came over, and they grabbed me. I had one teacher on each side of me, grabbed me, and actually lift me and carry me to the bus. And that, it was the elephant that started it. It wasn't me. I was just trying to fend myself and save my peanuts. And, the, and they couldn't see I had snot, elephant snot everywhere. Ugh! I mean, it's like a gallon of snot that comes out of that thing. And that thing hurt me. It's got this hard skin and it slapped me on the head and it hurt. So anyway, so they stuck me on the bus. They made me sit in the back of the bus. The kids just glared at me. The rest of the kids in the class just glared at me. I felt terrible. And I was sitting there all wet, and I stung. I mean, you could see where the thing had hit me in the face with its trunk. And, and they took me to school. They took me into the school. They made me sit in the principal's office. They called my parents. They said that I had beaten up an elephant. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm, what, eight years old, and I beat up an elephant? So my parents come to school, and they put me in the psychologist's room. They took me and they made me sit in this big chair in the school psychologist's room. They turned off all the lights 
and they turned on one light on the desk and they aimed it at me like I was a convict. And I sat there and they made me tell them why I beat the elephant up. Why? I, I looked and I couldn't believe it. The elephant beat me up. I still had welts where the thing had hit me in the head. And I just, I was so upset. They made me, they brought in the animal trainer. They made me apologize to the trainer, apologize to the elephant, and apologize to all the kids in my class for making a spectacle out of myself at the school. And my mother was horrified. She couldn't believe it that I had gotten in a fight with an elephant. And I mean, it was an elephant. Give me a break, it was an elephant. So I rode home in the back of the car. It was such a traumatic day for me. Got home, my dad looks at me and he goes, Alice Ruby, it's too bad you didn't have a 45 with you. I had taken, <laughs> I had taken care of that damn elephant. <laughs> but that was, that was one of the toughest days I ever had in school.